Good evening, I'm Dan Wolf. Thanks for joining us. Border Patrol agents in Minnesota say so far this year they've seen as many illegal crossing attempts as there were in all of 2021. They're patrolling a lot of border. Minnesota shares 547 miles of border with Canada, plus an open shoreline on Lake Superior. Northern News Now's Rob Coles is taking a look tonight at what's going on. Minnesota's border with Canada may be beautiful to visit, but it can be a difficult place to patrol. From the tip of uh, the Arrowhead region all the way to the border with North Dakota is basically wilderness and very, very small rural communities. Adalberto Rodriguez is a border patrol agent based in Grand Marais. So far in 2023, he says he's had 86 encounters with people trying to cross the border with Canada illegally. That's an uptick from previous years. We have had cases of crossing in the rural areas, but they are less likely to attempt to cross in those areas, mostly close to populated areas. He says smugglers can intermingle and blend in with local populations before moving across the border. And it's not just people that are getting smuggled. I've seen an increase in money seizures and also working on some cases where weapons are heading north. In International Falls, Police Chief Michael Kostick says he hasn't seen an increase in border crossings, but that doesn't mean smuggling doesn't pose a threat to the community. We see a lot of ancillary crimes associated with, with the border, um, drug traffic, things of that nature. He says to tackle the problem, the answer may not be more police officers on patrol, but coordination with other law enforcement programs. To be realistic, I think that just leaning on those community ties as well as strengthening our relationship with the different agencies can only improve our, our mission and goals. And for Agent Rodriguez and the Border Patrol, the coordination extends beyond federal and state law enforcement organizations. We have a lot of partnerships, uh, uh, other stakeholders, uh, even NGOs that help us uh, mitigate a lot of the threats that we face on the northern border. In northern Minnesota, Rob Coles, Northern News Now. In terms of people illegally crossing into the country over water, Agent Rodriguez says Border Patrol monitors sections of Lake Superior with a 27-foot safe boat. He says his team also uses canoes to patrol rivers and lakes close to the border.